Hello everyone and welcome back to another album review. In this video I'm going to review Retribution by All Other Creatures by Bastard Noise and Mersbow. This is a brand new collaborative project between two of the legends of experimental and noise music, Bastard Noise and Mersbow. This is not the first time we see them in a project together as they've made the split almost more than two decades ago which was also released by the same label. And in the case of Relapse Records is where we actually see some of the most well-known releases of Mersbow which kinda makes sense because we get some of the most sonically impressive releases when it comes to the Mersbow catalogue and actually some of the most intriguing and intense moments in his discography, offering some aspects that would make them more intriguing to a general and broader audience. Though I wouldn't necessarily say that all of the Relapse Records releases end up being some of my favorites, I like some of the more experimental stuff that we see from Mersbo from time to time, but this release over here is certainly on point when it comes to production and sound, as it's definitely one of the most sonically impressive releases when it comes to the Mersbo and also Bastard Noise catalog that we've seen in recent years. This release manages to be extremely brutal and fierce with some awesome textures and having lots of details to it and just sounding really really good. Now this is another one of those projects in the Mersbo catalog that goes into this vegan noise side of things. This is a direction and message that we've seen brought up by Mersbo for almost two decades now and with the case of this release over here it's possibly one of the most vocal and one of the most striking examples having this concept to it of what if all the animals in the world had the power to torture and slaughter humans the way that we do with animals. This is also accompanied with one of the sickest album covers that I've seen in an album all year. Like seriously, this design looks so fucking sick. It ties really nicely for this particular release to be so grim and so brutal, which is something in which we see Bastard Noise's sound benefiting greatly, because I really find this particular album to have some really great elements to it, and in general just being a really solid collaboration and two words that I believe that work really well together. And I believe that the greatest example is the very first track, Animals Running Human Factory Farms. I like the variety of this song and how it manages to go into many different directions. It starts with some really harsh and chaotic elements, there is also a bit of an ambience to it and it makes for a really interesting direction when it comes to the sound of Mersbo. But then as the track progresses after a certain point, we get those much more subtle dark ambient moments and we have a great focus on bastard noise vocals which sound absolutely absolutely furious and menacing in this track. They make a great job on creating this haunting and harsh feel and so this makes for a quite nice transition into some more death industrial elements that just make this whole thing sound pretty intriguing and fascinating. And when we get halfway towards the song we have more of a pattern with those industrial sources sounding really brutal and menacing, there is a really nice haunting feel to them and I also like the variation with the more free improvised elements and how the track progresses, there are many cool elements about this song and I overall find this to be a really solid lengthy noise track that instantly intrigued me and made me look forward to what's coming next. Already the very next track This Is How Human Waste Rolls starts really intense and with some really brutal elements. This is another track that benefits from being really harsh but it's also balanced with some really nice production and some really nice detail to all of the sounds and textures coming together. This is another track that in a very short period of time it goes into those more subtle dark ambient moments and then after a certain point it becomes more of a chaotic noise track which I find it to be intriguing as there are some really nice for improvised parts throughout the song but after a certain point it becomes a bit stale there's not really that much to it I believe that it's a pretty intriguing song but it doesn't really have that much of the impact of the very first track as I would personally prefer something that would have the patterns of the very first song but still this is a really cool track that just happens after a certain point to not grab my attention just this much. Then after this point we have the two tracks Zoo Noise Part 1 and Part 2. In those two cases we get a much more straightforward approach on harsh noise music. They're still pretty chaotic and messy in their noise approaches but for the most part we're talking about a more monotone sound that doesn't really develop 
all that much further after a certain point. The issue that they have with those two particular songs though does not really have to do with the fact that they don't have that much of a variation to it and that they're in a bit of a more monotone side. The thing is that they don't really get what the tracks are trying to achieve in terms of what mood they're trying to create. Because for the most part you have those harsh noise elements that are throughout almost the entirety of the songs and then you have those industrial sort of atmospheric monotone passages that kinda add to the experience but the thing is that they don't really manage to be all that atmospheric in order to manage to be on that much significance and the thing is that even when it comes to the more noisy portions they're not really all that intense and all that harsh in comparison to what we saw with the two previous songs so for me those two tracks while they have some pretty interesting ideas to them and they sound really good they don't really manage to have something that is that much of a standout they don't really manage to be standout in terms of being atmospheric they don't really manage to be that much of a standout in terms of just being harsh and intense I believe that in both of those occasions, the two previous tracks managed with their more chaotic and their more focused approaches on one sound each time to be more compelling and captivating. I'd say that the part one at least feels kind of more solid when it comes to the more atmospheric elements, as I quite dig the monotone melody behind it. It's just the thing that it's 17 and a half minutes long and after a certain point it becomes slightly boring. However, my least favorite has to be part 2, which starts in a really intense and quite brutal tone, but then it drags on and on, and towards the second half is where we get those industrial monotone bass synths, which they sound okay as additions, but once again, not really managing to be whether it ends or atmospheric or just basically anything, they're just there, and as far as they sound pretty decent, I don't really believe that they managed to add that much to the experience in order to manage to make the track feeling more significant and more captivating. So I was hoping for the zoom noise parts to be somewhat more exciting, but at the end of the day, it feels more of like some of the approaches that we see from some airbow tracks that I can think of that would just start with a really intense and nice tone, but then they would just end up dragging a lot and not really managing to be really all that compelling from start to finish. And I was hoping for something greater towards the second half, because for me, the first half is excellent. The very first track for me is certainly one of the most solid noise pieces I've heard all year. It is a mix of multiple moods and sounds and all of them are executed in a really nice way. But even with me not finding the second half as captivating as the first one, I'm still really fascinated by the overall results over here. Bastard Noise and Mergebo managed to do a pretty solid noise release, actually one of my favorites of this year. I do highly recommend this to you if you are fans of either of those artists because I believe that they've done a really good work over here, one that sounds awesome, and it's certainly one of those releases that is possibly gonna make numbers, deservingly so, as I find this album to have many aspects that your average noise music fan would be able to appreciate and enjoy. So yeah, for me, this is a pretty nice collaboration. I'm gonna give Retribution by all other creatures a 7 plus out of 10. What's your opinion on this album? Like it, dislike it, why? And what do you want me to review next time? Let me know down in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content like this, Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.